Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ray Angel. I'm a 60 year old truck driver trying to transition into earning my living uh, as a guitarist and singer. Uh, by the time I retire, I want to have everything in place that I'll need, including places to perform, a network of musicians to work with, and anything else I may need. I'm learning as I go, and each week I try to post something here uh, about how I'm trying to get closer to that goal. Oh, I talk about all of it right here. Uh, you won't see me doing any demos or reviews or lessons. There's plenty of that going on already on YouTube. Uh, so the question is, can an old dude like me become rich and famous, or will I fall on my face and make a fool of myself? To find out, you're going to have to subscribe to my channel. I'll try to post a new video every Saturday morning, and uh, if you enjoy what I have to offer, feel free to like it and share it with your friends. And uh, if you want to follow me on social media, I've got all the links below in the description. Now, let's get after it. All right, so had quite a bit going on last last uh, well this week. Um, got my notes here. Uh, first thing is uh, maybe if you've seen a previous video, I've got a Squire Classic Vibe '50s Telecaster, and uh, set it up for. Uh, playing slide uh, the way I like to do that is you know uh, Telecaster Stratocasters have got a little bit of a curve across the neck uh, which is nice for playing it kind of fits the inside of your hand you know when you grab it you know your fingers not flat necessarily it's kind of got a curve to it a little more comfortable but uh, when you're playing slide uh, at least me, I want all the strings to be flat all the way across. Uh, you know, because the slide is flat, that allows me to easily play double stop, treble stops, you know, four strings at once, five strings at once. Uh, you know, when you're holding the slide there. So, uh, did some work on that, raise the action up a little bit, because that's better for slide. And, uh, make those strings nice and flat. So, uh, we'll see about I don't know. You'll see some video of that eventually. <laughs> uh, the video editing software that I used for last week's video, um, still working with that, still learning. Um, but I thought last week's video looked okay. So, yeah, it's uh, going as well as can be expected, I guess. Uh, next thing is I got a really cool phone app uh, called Songbook Pro. Um it's a pretty awesome tool for uh, singers. Uh, you can uh, copy and paste or type song lyrics into it. And uh, then you can, of course, read it while you're performing. Um, it's on your phone, so it's not too obtrusive. And uh, for me, learning the guitar parts to songs has always been easier than memorizing the lyrics. And... Yeah, I'm getting old. So, you know, the maybe the, maybe the short-term memory is not working as well as it used to and it takes a little longer to get things into long-term memory. But uh, anyway, Songbook Pro. Um, I'm an Android guy. Uh, so, you know, if you've got an Apple product, I'm sure that they have a version of it. I just don't know what it's called. Uh, next up, these are kind of cool. Um talking about that phone app i got these gadgets to uh 
mount the phone on the microphone stand. Uh, who makes this one? Can I even read that? Uh, crescendo. Here, I'll show you a picture of the logo. Maybe you can read it. Get it nice and close. Is that going to focus? I don't know. <laughs> this one's okay. Um, there's not a whole lot of... Uh, let me loosen that up. This one doesn't have a whole lot of travel. Oh, maybe it has more than I thought. Whoops. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that'll be fun. Anyway, uh, have to put that back together. Uh, well, golly. <laughs> okay, let's just uh, put that together later, and I'll show you the other one. Okay, this one, uh, this is the one I'm using. I also use this to uh, mount my phone on the headstock of my guitar. Um, and uh, that's got a pretty good clamp on it. Um, this one seems to have more movement in this joint. Uh, so you can point it anywhere. Um, if it just mounts in there, got a little slide deal and a spring on it. And uh, does the job. Oh, sure. Got all the parts for the other one. This one, this one, it screws, and you got this kind of cloth thing. I don't want to move my microphone around too much. Anyway, maybe you can understand how it works. You screw that. Those jaws open and close. So, put that together later. Anyway, I used. This is the one I used recently, and uh, it was okay. Um, it also allowed the other people I was jamming with, since uh, I'll get to that later, but I uh, went to open jam, and having that up there, they could see what song I was doing. Uh, so, moving on. Uh, got a new guitar. That one over there. That is a uh, Fender Highway One, uh, made in the USA. Go Team America. Um, I know just a couple of weeks ago I made a video about how uh, I'd found my perfect guitar, but uh, it's always nice to have some options, and it's always nice to have a backup. Um, this guitar has a uh, little bit hotter pickups than uh, than the American Performer. Uh, both are great guitars. Uh, I also have an American Professional, uh, three single coils. Um, then I've got you know the Telecaster and and uh, a big fat acoustic. Jumbo, made by Alvarez. Um, I think that's about all the guitars I can justify at this point. Um, I'm getting really... This guitar's got this really great, nasty kind of, you know, sound. It's got a growl to it that, uh, that the other one doesn't have, and I guess you can chalk that up to the higher output pickups. And they are higher. I got my own meter out and measured it. Um, I think the humbucker on the American Professional showed up at about eight, eight and a half. And uh, the humbucker on that one uh, is more like about 12. So, yeah, that's a higher output. Um, anyway, uh, getting back to the uh, open jam I went to. Of course, I don't get paid for that. Um the first one I went to uh, back on St. Patrick's Day, uh, that was the first time I'd been there. So I mainly just kind of wanted to get a feel of the place. Um, I sang a couple of songs and got to know a couple of people. Um, this time, uh, I was a little more serious about it. Uh, took my songbook app um, with a bunch of lyrics on there, which gave me the confidence to perform some songs that 
I'd never performed in public before. Um, some of them I used to do back when I was busking. Uh, I used to busk on the street corners in downtown Fort Worth. But uh, I don't know. The police seemed to confuse me with homeless people, um, which I wasn't. I mean, it was. I would think that'd be pretty obvious. I'm, you know, down there with thousand dollar guitar and all this music gear, uh, battery powered amps and stuff, and uh, mic stands. And uh, I never asked anybody for money, but uh, I did have a little jar or bucket. Um, and if people came by and they liked what I was doing, I kind of look them in the eye and look at my jar and look them in the eye and look at my jar and they would get the hint. Uh, but I never flat out said, you know, give me some money or uh, if you like what I'm doing, please can, you know, contribute and support the arts and all that stuff. I, I never did any of that. Uh, but I would still make okay money. Uh, but yeah, getting back to the jam at the Red Dog, um, didn't mean to go off on that digression. Uh, the bartender, the first time I was there, uh, shot some photos of me and she was kind enough to, uh, send them to me on Facebook, which is very cool. Uh, that's one of the hardest things for, uh, a performer to get is, photographs of themselves performing because uh, selfies just don't work um, and uh, you know I need to have photos especially these days with all the promotion we do on social media um, it's always nice to have you know new photos and uh Photographers, I've got friends who are photographers, uh, and they have as much right to earn a living as everybody else, but who can afford to hire a photographer for every single gig? Well, maybe some rock stars can, but I'm not a rock star. I'm a truck driver, just trying to, you know, do this thing. So it's always nice to get photographs, and uh, she was very cool about it. Uh, something else had happened, and uh, this was kind of a hard lesson learned. Uh, after I finished performing, um, it wasn't particularly crowded <clears throat> that night, and uh, foolishly, I uh, I left my guitar on a stand on the stage, and uh, the reason I did that was because. Like I said, there there weren't a whole lot of players there that night, and uh, I thought I might get a, a chance to go back up there and do some more. Uh, as the night went on, more and more people started showing up. And, uh, yeah, well, you probably guessed it. Somebody knocked over my guitar. Uh, wasn't that one. That one I uh, – <coughs> excuse me. That one um, I hadn't really had a chance to work with it yet. Uh, hadn't gotten to know it. Um, and, you know, you don't go into battle with an untried weapon. So I took the the American performer. And, uh, yeah. So lesson learned. Next time when I go up there, I'm going to take, take my own extra super heavy-duty guitar stand. So, yeah, I guess that about wraps it up. Um, check my notes. Da, da, da. Yeah, I talked about that, talked about that. Okay, yeah, that wraps it up. Anyway, uh, if you got this far in the video, I want to thank you for watching. And, uh, you know, I guess I'll see you next time. So, uh, till then, take care of yourself. Take care of everybody else. Together, we can make the world a better place. I'm such a hippie. Anyway, see you next time.